I'm Eros Logan, one of three, joining me for Passport to Romance, Chapter 4, Valor at Fresalis. Wherever you go becomes a part of you somehow. I need to decide. After a short train ride and a walk from the station, you find yourself inside a lavish foyer in the Palace of Fresalis. Can you believe people actually lived like this? Look how intricate the architecture is. And this is just the beginning. If this is how their suits of armor live, can you imagine how the actual people did? Your viewers are going to love this, John. It's like a private tour of royalty. <clears throat> They'll probably enjoy seeing the, all the go gala goers as well. Yeah, because there's nothing more exciting than seeing wealth rubbed in your face. Pause and give a maid a look, but he just shrugs. Okay, well, let me log on. Lift your phone up to get a good panorama of the area. Hey, viewers, we made it to Versailles! I never thought I'd get to see a place like this. Suddenly, looking around the enormous palace, you feel a wave of nervousness. And now we're going to talk history. Here's an interesting fact. Versailles was built by a, a Duke Toussaint great-great-great-grandfather of famous Madame Toussaint. That's not right, John. Louis XIII was the one who laid the foundation of Versailles. Quickly turn off the camera. Right, sorry, I thought the viewers would get bored if I didn't tell them something. What was that? I, I don't know. Ugh, this was horrible. Hey, take a breath, John. This stuff happens. Do you want to talk about it? It's just that I want this to livestream to be really good, and I'm worried that I won't be able to keep the viewers interested. But you were so good on the camera yesterday at the Labour. What happened? I just had all the adrenaline with being late and stuff, and I didn't have time to think about it. But what if I can't bring that energy to a place like this? What if it's too fancy and I'm just me? John, don't think that way. You're the perfect host for the Wanderlust. It's just... I'm all so new to this. I went into Yvette's office with a big idea, but I have no real experience in the field. I mean, I did little few at innerships, but uh, does that really count? Of course it does. You worked somewhere, didn't you? But besides that, you've already proved that you can get followers. I hope that wasn't sheer dumb luck. Maybe I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. If I mess up, Yvette might not extend my tr contract, and then I don't know what I'll do. Rusty gives you a brief hug. You can do this, even if you have to fake it till you make it. Like Pixelberry watches me and then uses some of my catchphrases. Marissa is right. Look, the truth is thousands of people come to Vesalis monthly, but they don't bring your unique perspective. The palace is beautiful, but what your viewers want is you helping them understand how special it is. Okay, okay, teaming up against me works. I'm gonna go in there, act like myself. Just then an usher waves his hand at your group, take a big breath, and turn the live stream on again before heading over. Welcome. Are you here for the gala? Let me check the list. Um... It should be on it. Please, please, I really want to see the palace. Well, let me look at a little look. The gala really is only for special guests. Yvette Mercer booked us, so we're probably under her name. Ah, here we are. You're all set. You can just go in and hang out. Aren't there, like, gala festivities we're supposed to take part in, or...? Uh, well, we're having fireworks on light show at the Mount Fountains later tonight. But first, you should feel free to explore all the rooms and gardens. I think we should start with the palace. Excellent. Just take it right here, then. You follow the usher's directions, navigating through the various groups of guests. Your breath catches as you walk into Marie Antoinette's obelisk bedroom. Velvet drapery hangs from the walls, which almost seems jewel-encrusted. 
Look at these ceilings. The acoustics in here must be baller. Gilded, no surprise there. An English architect was solely native. I can't just believe someone actually slept here. I could never sleep knowing my bed sheets cost more money than the most houses. Hey, uh, dude, breather. But look at the woodwork. Even just an inch of that could be called art. You check the live stream quickly. Traveling Boo, that place is gorgeous. Mapmaker, wonder what annex the gang is gonna get up to. Travel Boo, maybe a little romance. Mapmaker, give us the kisses. We want kisses. I have trolls in my live stream then. Seems like they're enjoying the tour, and you want to show them the bed? Uh, whoa. How much to take a nap on that? These pillars are like the fluffiest I've ever seen. I can't believe we have to go back to our own twin-sized hostel bunk beds tonight. I want to stay here. Sure. It was all great for Miss Let Them Eat Cake. Okay, I mean, Spill, what's the attitude? What are you talking about? You're missing the point of this place. You're so busy being negative, you're not noticing any of the cool history or the beauty of this place. You're giving it way too much credit. The world has was far more interesting places. That might be true, but we're here now. The Amid, I know, would try to see the good in our current situation. Everything is fine, I just need a little space. Well, when you're ready to talk, let me know. Suddenly, Elliot turns to you with a mischievous look. Back to the palace itself. I think the bed is even comfortable. It belonged to a queen. It's probably soft to a feather. Care to make it a bet on that? But how would you even know the winner? We'd test the mattress, of course. Elliot puts one foot over the velvet rope, cordoning off the furniture from visitors. Coming. Elliot, you can't do that. That's a piece of history. Who cares? I say go for it. Shouldn't we all enjoy ourselves? Enjoy something so expensive. We might get kicked out of the Versailles, but you'll also probably become a legend with your followers. What do you say, John? I say you're on. Or you're going down, Elliot. Both you and Elliot hop over the rope while your other friends watch. Who's going to go first? Should go to do it together. On three, one, two. You and Elliot bounce on the mattress, snickering when you see a few of the other Galagas gasping and pointing. Feels great. I've had better. Liar, there's no way. Elliot sails back further onto the pillows. Fine, fine, this is doing wonders for my muscles. Happy now. So I win. You do, and we should probably get off this bed before a guard sees us. Quickly, you and Elliot Harry back to the rest of your friends. You scroll to the live stream to see what your followers think. Up in the clouds. Um, yes, can't believe you just did that. Valley Pound. Sending this link to everyone. Okay. You've gained followers. Looks like your follow account just went up. They like the adventure. Gaze at the bedroom for one more moment. What are you thinking about, John? Say what you will about Marie huh? Antoinette. She lived life like, the way she wanted to, didn't she? You can do that too, John. Sure, if I had a bunch of money. Of course, that's the kind of thing that got her head chopped off. Elliot, you're like really terrible cheering thing up. All the death and gloom is beside the point, John. When you're feeling nervous, think about Marie Ant Antoinette. And remember, being brave doesn't mean not being scared. It just means you're going to have to stand up and keep trying anyway. Take a deep breath and feel a bit of confidence rush through you. You nod. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, guys, what's next? I'd like to see the, the Battles Gallery. Is that the French version of the Hunger Games Arena? No, it's the part with the art. Let's go.
No marvel at the battles gallery, which has enormous war paintings covering the walls. Stop and inspect one of the busts. Wow, it's kind of cool looking. Didn't even know such a thing existed. I guess the guy was a general or something? What do you think, Samir? But she is off to the side, furiously sketching. Whoa, look at her pen fly! She's faster sketching than you are in the field, I mean. Hey! Okay, she is pretty quick. Lean over Samir's shoulder to take a look at her sketches. Wow. Samir quickly pulls the pen or the paper away from you. John! Those are gr so good. I love that you're redoing the battle gallery stuff in your own style. My style? These aren't meant to be serious drawings. Maybe, but I think you have a huge fan base if you shared them with people. They're really nothing special. I'm just doodling. Samir, you aren't giving yourself enough credit. You have so much talent. You should own that. I really wish you would leave me this alone. I understand being uncomfortable, but you can't let that hold you back. It's just not easy for me. Watch a mayor bite her lips. She starts to fill in some shading, but then stops. She sighs and puts her pen down. You sidestep over to your other friends. That didn't go as well as I'd hoped. You see her staring off into the distance. When you follow her gaze, you notice a photographer taking photos of visitors in period costume. I think I see a way to cheer up. And maybe he'll come out of his shell. You know, on a return to where Samir is standing. Hey, do you want to dress up with me? That dress is so gorgeous, but I shouldn't. Why not? You look amazing. I think I get too shy in front of the camera. None of the photos would come out right. But despite her words, Samir watches the other gala guest with longing. Samir, you're a natural, and I'll be at your side the whole time. Well, I suppose it could be fun. But what if the photos are terrible? Well, then we'll burn them. Seriously, don't worry, everything will be fine. Maybe you're right. And before Diamond Choice... I already spent 30 diamonds today, you leave me alone. On second thought, we should probably keep moving if we want to see everything before the light show. You're right, the palace is huge. You head out of the battle's gallery to the Hall of Mirrors. You marvel at the gorgeous chandeliers hanging above you. But where are the mirrors? The mirrors are in the arches. They're there to echo the windows running along the left side of the hall. Just another example of some very thoughtful architecture. Man, did you think it would be a fun house-style mirrors? I mean, what's the point if you can't see what you look like all stretched out? Aw, oh, man. I'm sure we'll find you something you'll like. Just then, Marissa grabs her hand. Dance with me, John. There's no music. Who cares? It's like a ballroom in here. Alright. Let's do the disco. Sunlight shining in the mirrors. Almost looks like a disco ball. If only I had my sequin outfit on. And Marissa, hurry over to the mirrors where the light bounces back and forth. Do the disco! Am I getting these hip thoughts right? You're on fire! You and Marissa take a bow at each at the end of your coordinated dance around you. Other guests burst into applause. Thank you, thank you! You seem happier than usual. What's up? Tristow is coming to visit tomorrow. That's your boyfriend, right? Yep. He's gonna t text to confirm, but I'm sure he can make it to in-between job interviews and stuff. Oh. That sounds great. I know you've been waiting to see him. It's gonna be so wonderful. I'll be sure to give you two some privacy. From across the room, your usher waves at you. I'm glad you've been enjoying the palace. Might I recommend spending some time touring the gardens? Well, yes, thank you. I think maybe the viewers would love to see them. You and your friends wander the gardens, exclaiming over the huge roses and 
intricate patterns of tubery. I can barely keep a tulip alive. The royals have mu many gardeners to help, and even now there's a huge team. It feels like it goes on forever. Elliot sniffs a little in distaste. The French do have a flair for drama and an obsession with perfection. What would you prefer? The English style is so much more chaotic, more wild, more authentic. Don't you agree, John? I don't know. I... What do you want from me? I don't know either one. How about that? Okay. It's a nice 60 degree D... Day, blah, 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 degree day. I just want this kind of like headache I have to go away. How about that? Um, why not appreciate both? Plants are plants. I just want a place to chill. Don't you feel the environment change based on design? Doesn't matter to me. Fresh air, pretty leaves. It's all my buttons. It bodes well that you're so easy to place. You can do stroll through the area. I think I'll pause at the bench for a moment. In a sketch? It's just too beautiful not to. Meanwhile, I'm at frowns at one of the arches. Everything okay? I guess I'm just finally figuring out what... What was bothering me. It's easy for a rich to enjoy their private gardens or beds or jewels and ignore everyone else's pain. Well, the royals weren't exactly spreading the what. Well, but that's over now. But it's not. There are tons of people in the world without food or roofs over their heads. And then there are the lucky few who can make ridiculous salaries. Actors, singers, and especially sports stars. Sports stars. I mean, you're, are you worried that you're going to turn into a bombus prick? If I keep playing soccer, I'll get more famous and make more money. That's the industry. Isn't that a good thing? You can help support your family. Yes, but what if it destroys me? The good person I want to be. It's hard to predict how fame can change a person. So what do I do? Keep in touch with home. Your friends and family will keep you centered. Call your parents. Go out with friends. Don't let those people go. I do always feel like myself when I'm out with you. Like, no matter what, I can be the most real version of me. Yeah, it'd be great if you'd stop being unhappy with everything, though. I I'm the only person in this group who could be unhappy, goddammit. That's what I'm here for. You know, man, Shire, for a while. Come on, you two. We're going to the hedge maze. Sounds fun. You follow your friends into the sprawling hedges. You and your friends race through the different bushy corridors. Soon you take a break, panting. It was bigger than I expected, and way emptier. Where are all the people? Lost too, I guess. We're lost? Are we just in the entrance, which is now nowhere inside? We need to go north. Why north? If I recall, we came in from the south, meaning we should try to get to the opposite side. Okay, fine, but can anyone read the sun? Which way it's north? I vote we always take the right-hand path. Worth a shot, I guess. We try a med's mo method for a few minutes, but everything looks the same. I think we're almost out. Hard to tell, but I uh, guess it's better than staying still. Suddenly you notice that Marissa isn't with you. Uh, where did Marissa go? Did, did anyone see? Oh no, maybe you should go after her, John. Yeah, I think I will. Head back the way you came, when you round a corner, you spot Marissa. Hey, what happened? Then you see that she's on the phone, you can hear someone's voice from the other end. But, Trist, how you promised! Marissa, you know these job interviews are important to me. Of course, and I want you to do well, it's just, I haven't seen you for almost two months. Next time, okay? We'll make it work. Now I have to go. Catch you later. Okay, I love you. Bye. Chris hangs up the phone and turns to you. Guess you heard that. That sounded pretty brutal. Tristan was like that sometimes, but it just 
Makes me feel awful. Have you ever told anyone how you feel? I just don't even know what to say. It's like my feelings are mixed up and confused. Why don't you... Why don't the two of you, us, talk? I'd be happy to listen. Maybe I can even help. For a moment, Marissa's face lights up, and then your friend's voices drift towards you, and her expression falls. I can't do it in front of everyone. I just know it'll be too many opinions for me to sort through. What if we just slip away and pretend we're lost? Then we can talk in private and meet up with our friends later. You would do that for me? First of all, you're my friend. Second of all, I think the viewers want to see their bubbly Marissa back on screen. That would actually be really nice. Spend some extra time with Marissa, help her out in the special scene. And now, mind your other friends. Suddenly you hear unfamiliar voices and laughter from around the corner. The noise grows louder as a group of people move closer. On second thought, maybe this isn't a great place for this. Not a lot of privacy. You're right. Maybe we should just catch up with the others for now. Rain check on the talk? Sure. You and Marissa head towards the rest of your friends, so Mir is the only one standing where you left the room. Uh, where are the boys? Please tell me we haven't lost them on top of being lost. Look over there. She points a little ways away. When you look, you see a mint teetering on top of Elliot's shoulders. Whoa. Very ep, mate. Otherwise, I won't be able to use my back tomorrow. I can see the whole world. Even John. Hi, John. He waves at you, but it seems to push the two of them off balance even more. Focus! Okay, okay, I, I see which way we have to go. We're actually pretty close to the exit. And lead the way. Finally, you emerge from the labyrinth and see that everyone has gathered to watch the light show. We better get our seats. You could have your live streams so your viewers can watch alongside you. Who are you going to watch with, John? There's nothing more romantic than watching fireworks. That's my dream date. Share some strawberries and champagne with someone special in this extra scene. So we've got Elliot, Hamed, Marissa, who is with Tristal, but for whatever reason we're having an option with her, and Sumi. Or I can sit alone, because I like sitting alone. I think I'll stay where I am. I think I have a pretty good view here. Younger down in the grass, a cool breeze tickles your nose. Just then, the usher from before drops down next to you. He is carrying a bucket of champagne and strawberries. Ah, I will eat these by myself. For me? Of course. Every attendee is gifted a complimentary bass bottle. He pops the cork for you. Did you bring two glasses? I'm on the clock. Oh. Well, I guess I'll have to sit by myself. Reach into the bucket and grab a plump strawberry as well. To enjoy the gardens. Ah, we got a bit lost, but it was gorgeous. Ah, yes. That reminds me of my first day here. Suddenly a beam of light erupts from the center of the fountain. Here it goes. You gaze up at the skies that fills with color. A string quartet plays in the background, weaving music and light together. Wow. Travel Geek 321. Whoa, that's gorgeous. You're so lucky. Wanderer for life. Thanks for showing us. You get new followers. Oh, they're enjoying it. I definitely am. When the light show comes to an end, the string quartet starts to... Little waltz, you'll look for all your friends. Is it time for a dance? Are any of us steady enough to on our feet? Eh, at least we can sway in tune. Ahmed offers you his hand while Samir and Marissa dance together. You tip your head back and enjoy the glittering stars. I want to turn with John. Me too. Will there be one time for me too? Swing around, laughing so hard you can barely breathe. When the song ends, you stop and smile affectionately at your friends. I'm so grateful for all of you. Are you feeling better after your total self-confidence bust earlier today? Yeah, 
I figured something out. Do tell. I'm good at what I do. You know why? Because I don't do it alone. I do it with all of you. That's why my live stream is special. It's about us together. And that means it's about travel. But also my friendship and love. That's the magic that Wonderlust needs. The five of us are the magic. You made it that way. We're lucky to have met you. You brought us all together. Yes, I would have been left in boring conference room without you. I'd be drinking beers with Gale and Estevo. Not that I wouldn't want to do that. But... But this way I get to broaden my horizons and see more of what France has to offer. I wish I could do all that, see all of Europe, but the only way I can stay here is if Yvette, Yvette extends my contract. Do you think she will? It's hard to say, she's not exactly easy to read. Taking the scene around you for a moment, your friends give you encouraging nods behind them, the fountain burbles against the expanse of night sky. Everything is so perfect, it can't end just yet. Then we won't let it. Elliot's right. We just have to work hard and show Yvette how great the live stream really is. We'll totally blow her away, and then your contract will have to be extended. Quickly hug each one of your friends. I'm in. I'm not giving up either. I just hope we can do this. Wonderlust is blogger level 194 in internet stardom. Keep playing to gain more followers and more bonus content. Next time on Passport to Paris, what's next in Paris for your friends and you? Will you, Leavette, let you continue with Wonderlust? And I certainly hope so. So without further ado, thank you all for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, make sure to hit that little bell notification so you'll receive notification when videos and whatnot are up on the channel. And head down the description below, links to social media, Discord, and a few links to support the channel. And without further ado, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all in the next video. Good day!